Hey guys, now that I reached max level in the Diablo 4 uh, closed beta, I want to take a look at my build that I went with. It's going to be a Whirlwind Barbarian with an emphasis on bleed. So Whirlwind's going to be our main skill, and uh, the main modifier we want on that is the... While using a slashing weapon, Whirlwind also inflicts 20% of its base damage as bleeding damage over 5 seconds. And then they gain one fury each time Whirlwind deals direct damage to an enemy or three against elite enemies. That's going to let us sustain our our Whirlwind pretty much any time we're in a big pack. Then for our resource gathering, we're, we're using Flay. And what Flay is going to do is it's just going to apply a, a pretty, pretty nice bleed while we try and, and regain our uh, fury stacks. I, I went with uh, Flay as 10% chance to make enemies vulnerable for two seconds. And then uh, when Flay deals direct damage to an enemy, they take 10% increased bleeding damage from you for the next three seconds. Again, just synergizing more with, with our bleed setup. Then we're going to be running two primary shouts. We're going to pop these anytime we, we go into a, a fight. Uh, the first one's going to be a rallying cry. That's going to give us some move speed, resource regeneration, and uh, it does make us unstoppable. And the main thing we want to use this one for is because that gives us a, a, a little boost of 25 fury as soon as we pop it. Which uh, is enough to, to get Whirlwind going even if you don't have any uh, fury when you start the fight. Our second war cry is going to be, uh, well it's going to be war cry. Our second shout is going to be war cry. And that's going to give us a bit of a, a damage boost. But the main thing we, we use this for is because it's going to put us into berserking for 4 seconds. And, and our whole build is built around staying in Berserk form as long as possible. And as an added bonus, we, we do get 28% life as, as uh, Fortify, which uh, generally I'm not taking that much damage, so I end up having almost my whole bar as Fortify, which is nice for when you do take the, the big hit. But what we do is we just, we just hit 1 and 2 right before we go into any fight. And for our ultimate, we went with uh, Wrath of the Berserker. This is, again, just going to let us stay in Berserk form uh, longer. You know, if, if Berserk's about to, to fall off, we can pop this and, and maintain that form for longer. And it also gives me an additional move speed. A lot of times if I'm just cruising around the map, I'll hit number one for move speed and then pop my ultimate for more move speed. And your Barbarian zips along pretty fast. And our damage ability is going to be Double Swing. And we've, we've used the perk for the Double Swing that... Casting double seeing while berserking grants an additional sec uh, two seconds, two additional seconds of berserking. So so that's how we stay in our berserk form longer. We we alternate between our flay to gain fury and double swing to maintain berserking. And then the, the whole build is built around some legendaries we have that that increase the power of berserking. So our double swing is actually going to be a, applying a pretty big bleed itself, thanks to a, a legendary modifier. So our, our first legendary is, is just going to be a simple survivability imprint. Uh, damaging an elite enemy grants you a barrier absorbing 210 damage for 10 seconds. And this is just another quality of life to, to not have to spam pots every, all the time. Our second legendary for our chest piece, what we're going to be using uh, is when you hit a crowd controlled enemy, there's up to a 50% chance that crowd controlled effects spread to other unaffected enemies. So we've got a, a perk on the skill tree that, that synergizes with this. And essentially, I'll explain that here in a minute, but what, what that ultimately does is it proliferates the slow we're applying to one enemy to all the enemies. So everything near us is, is pretty much always slowed so that that works with the damage modifiers for uh, increased damage against crowd-controlled enemies. Next, we're going to be using a uh, another legendary. I actually got this one off the world boss, I believe. Uh, it's going to give us plus one rank to whirlwind, which is nice. And one rank to double swing, which was really cool when I found it, because I'm using both those skills. And then the big thing is, while berserking, you deal 34 fire damage every second to surrounding enemies. It's not crazy damage, but it looks cool, and extra damage is always nice, and we're, we're trying to maintain berserking as long as we can, so extra fire damage that's, that's constantly going is nice. Uh, next is another quality of life one, uh, gain 2% damage reduction for each nearby bleeding enemy, up to 10% maximum. So when we're war limiting into a pack, we're pretty much always going to be at 10% maximum here. 
because uh, we, we do bleed constantly. Uh, when you're fighting a, a boss or, or a, an elite or something and there's only one or two, it's not, not too much, but, I mean, extra damage reduction is always nice. And we just socketed it in, 4% damage reduction while fortified, since we are fortified quite a bit. And the next one is, I've, I've pulled this off, uh, I think, a ring or an amulet. I think this was actually on an amulet. But I stuck it on these boots since the boots have some move speed. And they, the boots were giving me an evade charge so I can hit my space bar twice, which is nice. And then the the quality of life for your whirlwind to have enemies periodically pull toward you, towards you is, is really nice. And this is honestly probably my favorite one just for the utility. And this uh, imprint I put on my two-handed mace here. The the mace I don't use, so it's, it's just a stat stick. I just put the best one I had there, and then uh, it's casting double swing twice within two seconds creates a dust devil that deals 125 damage. So th this is kind of nice if the boss is like near a wall or something, because then it'll it'll kind of go through and come go through the boss and then come back and hit him. Uh, this one could be replaced with anything, really. This isn't too crazy of a skill. It's just, you know, it, it works with the double swing, so that's why it's there. So this next one... Uh, I, I kind of messed up. I, I should have put this on a two-hander, and, and the one I've got on my other two-hander probably could have been on the one-hander, and it, it would have been better. Because this, this is our, our main thing here, because while we're in Berserking, inflict 20%... While we're in Berserking, inflict 24% of the base damage as additional bleed damage over five seconds. So this is what makes our, our double strike bleed. And this is noticeable when you're in Berserking and you're whirlwinding through a, a pack. It, it, they they take a lot more damage than if you're not berserking. It's, it's pretty nice. And definitely when you're fighting the bosses, you can see the, the big chunks of bleed. And then our next one on the weapon here uh, is is our Whirlwind. I've imprinted this on the two-hander. I, I kind of think I should have done the bleed on the two-hander instead of the Whirlwind, but the Whirlwinds are nice for, for pack clear, but since, since pack clearing is really not that hard, I, w I should have put this on the one-hander and the uh, bleed on the on the two-hander. So the bleeds would have been higher. So the Whirlwind is, is really not going to do you much on a boss. They're, they're just not going to stay on the boss for very long. But this, this makes uh, clear and packs with Whirlwind really fun. So so you don't have really any, any problem dealing with uh, mob clear with this one. In fact, the more mobs, the better. Our next one is going to be each point of fury you generate while at maximum fury. Grant your next core skill 3% increased damage up to 90%. When you're worth whirlwinding through a big pack, you're going to hit that cap pretty much right away. And so if you need to switch to double strike to take out a, an elite, it, it just does a little bit more damage there, which is nice. Then we're going to have uh, critical strikes with core skills increase your attack speed by 20%. And so we're, we're pretty much going to always have that up when we're whirlwinding through something as well. Because whirlwind's going to hit a bunch of mobs, and, and you're eventually going to crit, even if you don't have that much crit. And then you're going to have the increased attack speed. So it's, it's, it's just nice to have. Again, this could probably be replaced with something more useful later down, but for now... It, it, and then our last one is the Vigo Protecting Amulet. I think everyone might get this. I've, I've seen most people get this one from the, the story boss. Uh, that's going to be when you hit while not health. When you get hit while not healthy, a magical bubble is summoned around you for 7.5 seconds. While standing in the bubble, players are immune, and can only happen once every 90 seconds. This is just really nice quality of life to have when you're fighting a boss, because it, it drops down and you can just sit there and and well on the boss. All right, let's take a look at our skills and passives here. Now I, I did put a point in pressure point. I'm not sure how useful this is, but I I figured you just while whirlwinding through stuff, there's a chance to apply vulnerable. I figured that'd be pretty nice to have. I'm I'm still not sure exactly how vulnerable works and, and lucky hit and all that. And then with our our this is how we're we're applying slow that proliferates with our our unique. We've got your bleeding effects slow enemies by ten percent, and then your bleeding effects deal six percent increased damage to vulnerable enemies. Since we are making them vulnerable a lot, I figure just a Extra damage, try that out. And then, yeah, I grabbed the uh, swiftness as well, just for a little extra move speed. I definitely would have preferred to max this. So that's, that's pretty much it. I'll show you uh, some fights here. So pretty much what you do is you're going to pop your, your shouts, your one and two, right when you go in. 
and then if you're clearing trash mobs, you can just you know one two, then then hit whirlwind. Or if you're if you've got like an elite mob there or, or something you need to do a single target to on on the boss, you can go right into the double swing. And then you, when, once you're you double swing, and then when your fury's out, you just use flay to get your your fury back up, then switch back to double swing. So when you're you're fighting a boss, you can just cycle between flay and double strike and stay in that berserk form which allows you to do more damage and apply that bleed and then if for some reason you're about to uh, drop out the boss did something you got to run away you can maintain your berserk with uh, the ultimate that, that'll reset it and basically just during the fight you just keep hitting one and two whenever it's up one and two, then go right into double strike or whirlwind, and then double strike the the big guys. And they this room does stun me, so that's kind of annoying. If I can get stun immunity, freeze immunity from some something eventually, that'd definitely be the way to go. Uh, prior to getting uh, Wrath of the Berserker there, I was using Iron Will, Iron Will just for more survivability. But once I got my ultimate, I, I swapped out of it. Uh, Iron Will's nice, but keeping Berserk up is, is, I think, just nicer. Uh, once you're getting higher in the level, definitely putting more points into play would be nice. Cause we just got one point in it and it's applying a, a pretty chunky bleed and you can see while we're uh, clearing trash mobs here you can see those tornadoes from the whirlwind which are pretty cool and if we were, were in berserk mode you can see the fire pop out yep so you see the fire going around that's that's from the uh, the gloves we got and then you can see you see the pull Sucking them all up towards me, which is just really nice to have. And there's the uh, protection bubble. I think this is the boss room. Yep, here we go. So we're just gonna run around until we can get our one and two off. There we go, Berserker, double strike, play, double strike. So we just, we just double, or we just alternate between the those two there. So, so we lost our Berserker, but then we can just use our ultimate and, and be right back in it. been able to maintain that berserker for a while now. And there we are. And and I'm not you, you can tell I'm I'm not the best at this game. If you've got better reaction times than me, you could you know, see how how well this build would actually be doing to somebody that's actually good. You know, but uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, tell me tell me if you got a better build. I'd like to hear how you guys are doing your barbarians. Uh, 
and I'm gonna put some clips at the end of this and doing some other bosses. I, I'm at lower levels on most of those. Uh, I also did the world boss. That's a separate video. Uh, feel free to check that out. I'd appreciate it. Uh, you guys have a good one. Bye, B. I need time to do that. <laughs> I need more time.
ready yet. Ready yet. Ah. 